Picture a BB gun led to a scare at a Grand Rapids Park earlier this year. Leaders saw a need to change the city's weapons ordinance. And tonight, commissioners took action, setting up a vote in the coming weeks. 13 on your side's Amr Abbas joins us now to explain. Amr. Yeah, the current weapons ordinance in Grand Rapids is nearly 50 years old, and it didn't have specific language to address BB and paintball guns. Now, the new ordinance would make enforcement easier, which leaders say is needed, because newer fake guns are looking closer to the real thing. This young man was just playing, but he was playing with a weapon that looked very rare. In July, a 13-year-old with a BB gun led to this incident in Grand Rapids. Our officers had to treat it as such, and they were able to um, secure the weapon without anyone getting hurt. Here is the BB gun that was being carried by the teen. This week, GRPD shared this photo with city leaders. Some of these guns are fake, others are real. They look very real, which is, which is scary, and hence why we need to um, strengthen our ordinance. Tuesday night, city leaders moved one step closer to adopting the new weapons ordinance. If approved, pneumatic weapons like BB and paintball guns would require adult supervision for those under 16. Imitation guns could not be changed or painted and would need approved markings. Enforcement could mean fines up to $500 or jail time. This is about the safety of the community, safety of our officers, and I believe this ordinance that I support will help further the safety of everyone. But leaders want to make it clear that they are not looking to confiscate every toy gun. We're very sensitive to kids as well, so we're not going to stop kids that are playing with guns and they're just playing with guns. This is more focused towards people that are using them unsafe, right? They're brandishing, they're pointing at, at people, they're pretending it's a real gun. As for what's next, a public hearing will take place on November 12th, and then a vote on the ordinance has been scheduled for November 19th. Juliet. Thank you, Omar.